G'day, Mike from Aussie Mike's Bees, and it's August 19th, and guess what? We got our first call out for a bee colony. A, a uh, swarm just happened only 10 minutes away from home. I got the call while I was on the job, so I'm a few hours after when I got the call, but I'm heading over there now. I don't know what it's gonna be like. I've just loaded up the gear, and uh, what else? You know, first thing I ask is, you know, how big is it? You sure they're bees? How high up are they? Well, they're close to the ground and a fairly sizable colony by the sound of it, but we'll see when we get there. Um, it's starting to rain. So it's been a beautiful day, 20 odd degrees Celsius. It's now 17 degrees. So I'm not sure what we're in for. Um, Hopefully I can get them in the box before the rain gets too heavy because it'd be good to get them boxed up and get them back home in the dry. So let's see how she goes. Should be fun. All right, we're on site and look at this. There's one part of the swarm is settled in this little tree here, but over on the side, it's sitting on the lower part of that fence. Now the homeowner told me that they settled on the fence first and then went up to the tree. So it's likely that the queen relocated, went up there, but these fellas have still got her scent there and it's, co it's cooled right down. So they'll be probably trying to keep warm in there. It's, it was 17 degrees on the drive over. I reckon it's dropped down to 15 or 14 now, so it's getting cooler. So I'm gonna get my gear and, and get going. He threw the gear in the back, so I've just thrown in a, a uh, hive. So I've got a baseboard, and I'm gonna stick that under the tree here, under them. And I, I know what you're thinking, it'll all fall to bits, but I'll strap it together. So we've got a lid and an inner cover and a bunch of um, wax foundation ready for them. So I'll pop that down here. So I'm going to stick this strap under now because they're going to get a little bit excited soon. And the ones on the fence. I'm going to use the everything bee back to suck them up. So you remember seeing that last year when I gave a little talk on it? So now you'll see it again here. Oh, in operation. So that'll be something more exciting. So I don't really need any other tools for that at the moment. I'm just going to shake them in. Same time. So it's going. So I've got the everything bee vac. And I don't know if you remember, not everyone would have seen it. So here's the vacuum motor part, and it's got a speed control here. And then inside, we've got the container. These wire, this uh, wire mesh is so the bees can clump up on them, and it spreads around. So it's a gentle vacuum that comes in, and they'll fill up along there. And I've got this mesh to stop them going up into the pump. So I'll put that on. Screw this on, that makes a good seal. And we're ready to vacuum up the little ones over there. But I'm gonna do the shake in first. Click. We'll get going and I'll do a little bit more talking. Yeah, thanks. All right, so I'll put the box directly underneath this nice little clump. And I've taken the middle frames out so they've got somewhere to fall. So uh, the next step, so I'll be getting them a little bit excited, um, but they should still be hanging around here. Uh, I'm wearing PPE because I'm doing a certificate three and it's a work health safety requirement that I wear PPE, the uh, protective equipment. So I'm gonna just push these down. Let's see, actually I might I'd do something else. The closer you can get them down into the box, the easier it is for them to fall in. And I could possibly even get them just to 
lower in. So I'm going to clear them away, clear some of this out of the way. And they're going a little bit there. They're attached by a couple of little sub branches. And yeah, I think those out there. So I just shook them off. Now they're all in the bottom. I'm just going to shake the whole lot. So I'll get covered by a cloud of them. And it's as easy as that. Now I'll put the frames back nice and gently. Now the odds are I've got the queen in there. Fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> and where the queen is, the bees will stay. Oh, I've got my first sting. Oh, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> yep. Because I'm not wearing gloves. Yeah. Now they're all in, off there and in here, so I can close that up. And you can see them down the front there. Yeah. But if the queen's inside, they'll stay in there. Right. So that's that part done. And that's how you do a simple little shake into the box. sit there for a bit, I'll vacuum up the next ones. If you can see from there, you've got some bees have their head facing in and they're flapping their wings with their tail up, and that's spreading the um, hormone to say this is home. Everyone out there, come here. do now with the, uh, the vacuum, I've got a few in there, is I'll wind the speed back, just have air flowing over them so they don't overheat with their own body heat right. and suffocate. Now not so bad now because it's pretty cool, but in the middle of summer when it's you know, 40 degrees, they can all die inside there if they're not getting air passing over them. So I've got that nice and slow now. I could actually take this hose off and close the gate and I might as well do that for demonstrations. 
so there's still air coming in here, there's still a few bees there. I just want to get all the bees that are in the hose into the bucket and that'll generally do the trick and then I'm going to pull the hose out and close the gate and that's it and turn the air back down That'll keep them happy until I get them home. So now I'll just put these cells in the back. Uh, g'day. It's a bit over a week since I caught that swarm and I haven't looked at them since. I've just left them to settle in and they have plenty of activity. That's in this colony here. I didn't get to show you putting them in the box because it was night time by the time I got home on that swarm catch day so what I did for that one was I had the box that I already shook the bees in if you remember that and I closed them up but I thought it was too cold to tip the bucket in there it would have been a bit of a disturbance so what I did was leave the bucket on its side in front of the box I had the box sitting on the ground so they could decide to march in if they wanted to now what happened was the next day bees had come out of the box and moved into the bucket so it looks like instead of the queen being in the box the queen was in the bucket. I don't know for sure but what I did then was grab the whole bucket, shook the whole lot, tipping them all into the box uh, so there was nothing left in the bucket at all and then I closed the lid up and left them to it so I'm pretty sure I got the queen since then because they haven't wanted to move out and there've been uh, there's been foragers coming and going pretty much all week so and bringing in big uh, big sacks of pollen so it's looking good that way so this is going to be our first inspection just to see how they're doing i'm hoping that they've drawn plenty of comb on the foundation that i've left in there i had all clean frames with clean foundation ready for them to draw i haven't fed them um, so I'm hoping they're doing okay, but this assessment will be whether I need to supplementary feed or not. Uh, that remains to be seen. So I'll uh, get my smoker going. I'm seeing lots of bees all on these frames. I can see looking down there's nothing on these three. But this side of this frame has bees on it. So. We might be in luck there. Lots of bees on this one too. Quite a bit of weight. Although I didn't spot the queen, um, they're drawing out comb. Maybe not as quick as I thought they might, but they've gone across multiple frames. So the numbers are good. Small hive beetle down low. They've got plenty of nectar and pollen, uh, but I didn't spot eggs, so they might not be queen right. Um, I'll check next week on that and do some action then if need be. But in the meantime, that's a swarm I caught, the first swarm of the season, and they look healthy enough. We'll see how it goes from here.